Hi, I'm Ashley Eckstein. One of my favorite cartoons as a kid was The Hobbit, and this is a quick conversation with Sci-Fi Wire. I know the legend of the warrior called She-Ra. They said she would return to us in the hour of our greatest need. Everything about She-Ra speaks to me. <laughs> I'm actually a lifelong She-Ra fan. When I was a little girl, there was something about She-Ra. I wanted to be She-Ra. So when I found out that DreamWorks was remaking um, She-Ra, I, I knew. I knew that I just, I, I wanted to see it. And, and as an actress, I wanted to be a part of it. So I kept on bugging my agent. And I'm like, please, like, help me find a way to be a part of the show just because I, I believed in it so much and the stories that they were telling and their mission of just being so inclusive. And I'm beyond excited and humbled and honored that I get to be a voice on She-Ra. So it's, it's all I can say for now. Um, but that's actually what started the partnership with the fashion show. So after I recorded in the studio, we had so much fun working together and we said, well, what more can we do together? And I'm like, well, I do have this fashion show and you know, it would just be great if we could continue our partnership and they said yes. And so that evolved into a couture She-Ra gown and of course it has to transform. So from Adora to She-Ra. So uh, through a series of multiple pieces and magnets, you know, it was very tricky, very scientific, but I was able to transform. The sword has chosen you. The time has come for your destiny. So the theme of our show this year was the power of fashion. And it was inspired by She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. And I often think of our outfit for the day as your armor for the day, for the daily battle of life. And I want it to make a woman feel empowered. Uh, you know, you should feel like you can just take on the world and what you're wearing. And so we wanted to bring that to the fashion show and we celebrated powerful characters, powerful stories, powerful themes, and, and powerful statements. One of my gowns was actually a gown dedicated to Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. And they have a new uh, mental health movement called On Our Sleeves because the negative stigma is that, you, oh, you shouldn't wear your emotions on your sleeve when no we should our, our, our mental health is just as important as our physical health and the Nationwide Children's Hospital, what they're doing is just groundbreaking. They're taking their research and advocacy to the next level. One in five kids has a mental illness and 50% of all lifelong mental illnesses present themselves by the age of 14. I just want to break the negative stigma surrounding mental health and if I have this platform I want to be a voice and an advocate. We actually debuted a new shirt at our booth here at San Diego Comic-Con and it's going to be online very soon and it says I break stigmas and on the sleeves are the actual icons from the On Our Sleeves movement but all proceeds of the shirt go to Nationwide Children's and their advocacy and research programs. So, uh, our fashion show every year is actually a design competition. Uh, I like to say it's kind of like Project Runway meets Geek Fashion. And we had 24 designers uh, who designed their own original Geek Couture looks. Um, and we picked two winners. Sarah Hambly, who is our audience winner, and she designed a Loki Couture look. And then we had Adria Renee, who designed a Jurassic World look, and their looks were amazing. And uh, they've already started we put them to work immediately. They're working with her universe to design a Wonder Woman 1984 collection for Hot Topic. So look for their collection to come out next spring. You thought you could get away? You're not much of a challenge, youngling. I got you right where I want you. We are uh, recording in the studio for, <laughs> for Clone Wars. I'm so excited. Um, Dave Filoni is the mastermind behind Star Wars The Clone Wars and also Ahsoka Tano. Unfortunately, there's not much I can say other than it's going to be amazing. And I will say I think this is some of Dave Filoni's best work. <laughs>